Waking up early, showering, dressing up, and heading to school is the mundane routine of most primary and secondary school students, one often met with groans about early mornings and piles of homework. But for 15-year-old Kistina, a stateless child, this ordinary routine is something she has always yearned to be a part of. Born to an Indonesian mother and a father who is a permanent resident, Kistina is hampered by her parents' inability to produce a valid marriage certificate. That means she has no access to the national school system. Her parents have tried to give her the best education they can, sending her to a private religious school. But this has not been enough for Kistina, who has always dreamt of receiving a proper education. Some part of that dream has come true. At first, I found out like, ada a group of people brings books and mats. So, uh, saya suka buku. So, saya pun rasa macam, ush, macam interesting ah. Saya pun nak join. Lepas tu, orang pun welcome. What started as a mobile library called Buku Jalanan Chow Kit has over time evolved into a homeschooling program for displaced children who are unable to enroll in government schools. BJCK currently has 89 students ranging from Primary 1 to Form 4. Joining BJCK has allowed Kistina access to a donated laptop which she can use for her studies. She has also experienced her first ever sports day and gone on a school camp to Chirating Beach. Kistina and her cohort owe these precious experiences to BJCK founder Siti Rahayu Baharin, or Cikgu Rahayu, as they fondly refer to her. With BJCK cater to all children. I think you interview one of them, right? That um, she she thought that she she come to the age of um, going to school. She went to register, and the school deny her because of her documentation issues. So we don't want to do that. We want to provide education for every children because that is the basic right of a child. Now with its own premises, BJCK wants to run a business to sustain its operations. It has recruited the mothers of BJCK students to run a newly opened cafeteria which they hope will also allow these women to supplement their family income. The cafeteria will also allow BJCK graduates an opportunity to earn a living. What happened to my children next? You know, after they finish, let's say after they are 19 and 20, this year three of our children sit for SKM and they only have birth certificates and in their birth certificate is written on citizen. And it's a quite a benchmark for us. But then next what? Is there any university or any tertiary education who want to accept them? So that's the question. But then whatever it is, right, through our business, we can provide a platform for them to work, you know? so that they will not be cheated. Amidst the challenges faced by the undocumented community, Chegu Rahayu calls for empathy and understanding from fellow Malaysians. She urges society to reconsider its stance and recognize stateless people who, like everyone else, are simply trying to make the best of their circumstances. Natasha Bust and Rex Tan, FMT News.